All right. Um, so we have cosine inverse of negative 1 half. So now we're going to be able to figure out, well, what is the cosine inverse of negative 1 half? Well, when is cosine going to be negative 1 half? Now, thankfully, we know that cosine is negative in the second and the third quadrant. But do we need to consider the third quadrant? No. So why don't we just keep it within the restrictions, right? So that coordinate point is negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. I know my unit circle really, really well. So I know that this angle is how far away, has a reference angle of? Pi over 3. So therefore, this angle is 2 pi over 3. Because I've been practicing my unit circle problems, right? So again, you can see how helpful it is to know this stuff very quickly. So therefore, the cosine inverse of negative pi over 3 is just going to be 2 pi over 3. So then I have tangent of 2 pi over 3. And the tangent of 2 pi over 3 is, again, the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Now, I could multiply by my reciprocal on the bottom, on the top and the bottom, and then simplify it. But hopefully, I have practiced this enough, and I just realized that this is going to give me a simplified answer of square root of 3. All right. Because again, remember I told you guys, you know, by the time, I mean, obviously for your quiz, I was asking you guys to show your work so I could verify you knew what you're doing. But like, next chapter, I don't want to see.